Imagine a long road that could circle half the globe. That's the story of China's longest highway, an engineering feat that stretches beyond imagination. Spanning over 160,000 kilometers and connecting a nation of over a billion people, China's longest highway is not just a road, but a ribbon tying together a vast and diverse land. Today, let's get into the incredible story of this immense project, exploring how it transformed from a bold vision into a concrete reality that reshaped the world's most populous country. Our journey starts in the late 1980s, a crucial era for China. The country was on the verge of monumental change, transitioning from a closed economy to one that would soon become a global powerhouse. In October 1988, the Shanghai Zheding Expressway, China's first expressway, opened to traffic. This marked the beginning of an era where roads would become the arteries of economic vitality and national progress. The vision was clear and ambitious to build the world's largest highway network. This network would stretch across China's vast and diverse landscapes from the busy cities in the east to the remote villages in the west. The vision aimed to do more than just facilitate travel. It was about knitting together a nation, fueling economic growth, and showcasing China's growing engineering capabilities. But why this project? And why then? The answer lies in the old Chinese proverb, if you want to get rich, first build a road. China's leaders understood that connectivity was vital to the nation's prosperity. Roads were not just paths of concrete and asphalt, they were lifelines, channels for trade, tourism and technology. They were the means to bring education and healthcare to the country's most remote corners. They were the promise of a better life. The blueprint of this immense project was as complex as it was grand. The initiative, known as the 7918 Network, was a masterstroke of planning. It comprised a national grid with seven highways from Beijing, nine running north to south, and 18 crossings east to west. This network was not just a plan for a road, it was the skeleton of a new, dynamic China. The groundbreaking of the highway was a moment of national pride and anticipation it symbolized the beginning of a journey redefining the nation's fabric. The first shovels hitting the ground were not just moving earth, but laying the foundation for a future of unprecedented connectivity and growth. The Qinling Zhenanshan Tunnel, also known as the Zhenanshan Tunnel, is the world's third longest twin tube highway tunnel. It started construction in 2002 and opened to traffic in 2007. The tunnel has a total length of 18.4 kilometers. This tunnel represented a triumph over challenging topography and significantly reduced travel time between the regions. In 2021, China opened the Taihu Tunnel, the longest underwater tunnel highway in the world, stretching for 10.79 kilometers, marking a crucial moment in the project. This 10.79 kilometer long bridge connected different regions and stood as a symbol of the project's ambition and scale. It was a feat that required cutting-edge engineering to address the river's powerful currents and environmental sensitivities. The Gobi Desert's harsh and unforgiving landscape posed unique challenges. The beijing Urumqai Expressway, completed in sections with the final stretch opened in 2017, traversed this arid expanse. Engineers contended with extreme temperatures and shifting sands to lay down a road that would endure the desert's testing conditions. Perhaps the most challenging was the Sichuan-Tibet Highway, a route traversing the Tibetan Plateau, often called the Roof of the World. This highway, with sections like the 8,596-meter-long Erlang Mountain Tunnel, completed in 1999, presented not just engineering challenges, but also the logistical hurdles of construction at high altitudes. These achievements were made possible by the tireless efforts of thousands of engineers and workers. Figures like Chief Engineer Liu Kitao and his team, who oversaw some of the most challenging sections, became the unsung heroes of this endeavor. Their expertise, innovation, and determination were the driving forces behind each milestone. The highway network brought China closer together, with every mountain tunneled, river bridged, and desert crossed. These were roads and lifelines connecting people, cultures, and economies. The impact of each mile of this highway resonated far beyond the asphalt 
into the lives of millions of Chinese citizens. As China's cities grew, so did the challenge of urban traffic congestion. Mega cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou were the first to feel the strain, with smaller cities soon following suit. The solution lay not just in expanding outward, but also in going beneath. The development of underground highways became a strategic response, addressing the need for more road space without encroaching on valuable urban land. The construction of these underground routes was a feat of modern engineering. Tunnels, some spanning several kilometers, were bored beneath bustling cityscapes. These underground highways provided much-needed relief to the congested streets above, significantly easing traffic flow and reducing travel times. In Guangzhou, a key tunnel project exemplifies this approach. Completed in the late 2010s, this tunnel stretches for over 10 kilometers, connecting critical parts of the city. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of Chinese engineers in tackling urban congestion. The underground highways did more than just ease traffic. They had a positive environmental impact. By reducing surface congestion, these routes helped lower emissions and noise pollution, contributing to a cleaner, quieter urban environment. Constructing these underground highways was challenging. Engineers had to navigate a labyrinth of existing infrastructure, from subway lines to utility networks. Each kilometer of tunnel required meticulous planning and precision, ensuring minimal disruption of the city above. As China continues to urbanize, the role of underground highways in the transportation network becomes increasingly vital. These underground routes are not just about solving present challenges, but about future-proofing cities, making them more livable and sustainable. The expansion of the highway into rural China marked the beginning of a new era. By 2035, the length of rural roads in China is expected to stabilize at approximately 5 million kilometers, a significant increase from the 4.2 million kilometers recorded in recent years. This expansion brought more than just asphalt to these regions, it brought hope and opportunity. In areas like the Western region and the Inner Mongolia Autonomous region, villages once isolated by vast distances from the nearest highway began to experience unprecedented connectivity. The impact was immediate and transformative. Access to markets, healthcare, and education improved dramatically, bridging the urban-rural divide that had long defined these landscapes. In a small village in Yunnan province, the arrival of the highway meant that farmers could now transport their produce to distant markets, ensuring better prices and reducing spoilage. In another part of rural China, a young girl could now dream of attending a university in the city as the road brought her closer to educational opportunities that were once beyond reach. The influence of the highway on local economies was profound. Agricultural communities found avenues to trade and prosperity. Small businesses flourished along the roadside, catering to travelers and truckers. The once sleepy villages began to thrive, fueled by the energy and opportunities the road brought. The highway did more than just connect places, it connected people. It brought together communities that had been separated by geography and circumstance. It led to unity and shared destiny, as distant parts of the country were woven into the national fabric. As the highway network grows, its impact on rural China evolves. The story of this transformation is ongoing, a narrative of progress and empowerment. The road has become a symbol of a nation moving forward together, leaving no community behind. If you enjoy content like this, subscribe to our channel so you will be updated when new content is up. Thanks.